रामाय राम भद्राय राम चंद्राय वेद से रघुनाथ हाय नाथ हाय सीता यह पद ए नम उत्तराखंड चैप्टर नंबर सिक्सटी सिक्स कर्स ऑफ किंग यायती The recitation begins now. Rama, having said this, Lakshmana, the slayer of the enemies, burning in his native effulgence, said, "O foremost of kings, this ancient account of the ascetic Vashishta and King Nimi is highly surprising and wonderful. But King Nimi is a Kshatriya king and a hero. Besides, although initiated, he did not forgive the high-souled Vashishta." Being thus accosted, Rama, the Kshatriya chief, said to the effulgent Lakshmana, conversant with all shastras, "O hero, forgiveness is not to be seen in all men. O Somitri, do thou hear attentively the unbearable anger which was forgiven by the king Yayati, resorting to the quality of goodness. Yayati, the enhancer of prosperity of cities, was the son of King Nahusha. He had two beautiful wives." one of whom was sarmishta the granddaughter of aditi the daughter of brishaparva she was the more beloved of the two his other spouse was devyani the granddaughter of ushanas she was not liked by her husband both of them gave birth to a son each and both the sons were beautiful and attentive puru was born of sarmishta and yadu of devyani Puru was a favorite son of the king both on account of his mother and of his personal graces thereat yadu greatly sorry said to his mother born in the race of the illustrious bhargava of unwearied actions thou art going through mental afflictions and unbearable insults therefore o mother let us both enter into fire let the king spend many nights with sarmishta the daughter of a demon Thou mayst withstand the insults, but I shall never brook them. Permit me; I shall, in sooth, renounce my life. The son, having weepingly and distressingly said this, Devayani was greatly enraged and thought of her father. As soon as he was thought of by his daughter, Bargava speedily came there, and beholding his daughter senseless and deprived from joy, he said, "Beloved daughter, what is the matter?" The effulgent father, having thus addressed his daughter repeatedly in this wise, Devayani, enraged, replied, "O foremost of ascetics, I shall either enter into the fire or water or drink poison. By no means shall I preserve this life of mine. Thou dost not know of the miseries and insults I have been subjected to." O Brahmana, when a tree is neglected, those who live thereon are also distressed. The king, having disregarded me for sooth, thou hast also been neglected. Hearing the words of his daughter, Bhargava, enraged, said to the king Nayati, "Thou art vicious-minded, O son of Nahusha. Thou hast dishonoured me, and therefore, in thy youth, thou shalt be subjected to decrepitude and infirmities of age." Having thus imprecated the curse and consoled his sorrowful daughter, the highly illustrious sage Bhargava repaired to his own habitation. Having thus conferred solace unto his daughter, the leading Brahmana, effulgent as the sun, returned therefrom. Mangalam Koshlendraaya Mahaniya Gunapti Chakravarti Dhanurjaya Sarvabhomaaya Mangalam.